Scotland were boosted by a win at home to France last time. Gregor Townsend's men were on a confidence-boosting run of eight wins from nine matches at BT Murrayfield, the only defeat coming against New Zealand. England weren't short of confidence either. They'd won 24 of their 25 games under Eddie Jones. They'd also won on their last three visits to Edinburgh. Townsend picked an unchanged 15, and his side took an early three-point lead when Greg Laidlaw slotted the ball between the posts to give the noisy home crowd something to cheer about. He was tight in the early exchanges and scoring chances were rare, but Owen Farrell restored parity after 14 minutes when presented with this chance off the tee. Almost immediately, Scotland were back in front. The visitors seemed to lose concentration when Finn Russell collected with an advantage available. His grubber kick caused chaos, and Hugh Jones was sharpest. It bounced nicely for the Scottish centre, who cruised over the line for the opening try of the game. Amazingly, Scotland's first try at Murrayfield against England since 2004. The Glasgow centre, probably surprised with the clear run to the line, he showed good form in the Autumn Internationals and continued it here. Laidlaw added the extras and Scotland were 10-3 ahead. Shortly after that score, England were presented with another easy three points. Farrell firing the kick over to bring it back to 10 points to six in what was proving to be a competitive first half. In the 31st minute, Scotland increased their lead with a marvellous try. It started off with an outrageous pass in midfield from Finn Russell, which sent Jones on his way. He showed good speed before eventually being grounded inside the England 22. Scotland kept the ball alive and continued to threaten. Okay. Hooker Stuart McAnally forced his way further into England territory. Again it was recycled before Russell was once more involved, picking a pass to Sean Maitland on the wing, and he was over in the corner despite the best efforts of Anthony Watson. The TMO was called upon to confirm the score was good, and the replay showed that there was no doubt. Laidlaw was off target with the conversion, but Scotland led 15 points to six. A couple of minutes before the break, Scotland were in dream world. Once again, Jones was a central character. When he broke through, he still had to face Mike Brown and Anthony Watson, but the Glasgow man backed himself and went for the gap, forcing his way between the two defenders and over the line for his second and Scotland's third try of the game. A great individual effort from Jones, and England rocked back on their heels. It was a simple conversion for Laidlaw, Scotland took a 22 points to 6 lead in at the break. A response from England was expected after half time and just four minutes into the second period, Farrell exploited a gap in the Scottish defence and raced through for a hugely important score for the men in white. The Saracens man sliced through the flat-footed defence with ease and when he converted, the score was back to 22 points to 13 with plenty of time left to play. Then on 54 minutes, the English looked like they'd narrowed the gap further. From Scottish possession, the ball broke loose. And Watson and Farrell combined to fly-hack the ball forward before the number 12 touched down for the try. But after the TMO looked at the tackle from Courtney Laws, it was deemed that the England man had knocked the ball forward and the score was disallowed. Yes, Nigel, knocked on, mark, okay? knocked on by White. First. No try, knocked on, and the tackle by Farrell. With around a quarter of an hour remaining, England substitute Sam Underhill was yellow carded for a no arms tackle on Ryan Wilson. It was a reckless moment from the Bath flanker. Yes. You can't go into the shoulder tackling on a game, that's a yellow card offence. No and the Scots added to the punishment when Russell fired the resultant penalty over the bar to move their lead on to 25 points to 13. England chasing the game and down to 14 men for 10 minutes. With time running out, England were pressing the Scots' line, 
A score here would give them slim hope of getting something from the game. But stout Scottish defence, when under real pressure, saw them awarded a penalty. And that was celebrated both on the pitch and in the stands as if it was a score. Try as they might, England couldn't get the score that would at least garner a losing bonus point as the Scots defended with great intensity. And when the full-time whistle blew, Scotland could celebrate. They were unrecognisable from the side beaten by Wales on the opening weekend of the Championship. Just a second defeat for England under Eddie Jones and the chariot was derailed. With the Calcutta Cup deservedly going to Scotland, who ended a seven-game losing streak against England, They'll travel to Dublin in two weeks on a high, while England go to Paris knowing that nothing but a win will do. At a raucous BT Murrayfield, it finished Scotland 25, England 13.